lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Amwa. In today's video I'm going to be letting you guys know how I managed to grow my edges back from this <coughs> to this. <coughs> so my edges are back, they're not perfect but they are a lot better than they were literally like 6-7 months ago. So if you're interested to see just what I did to get my edges to grow back, stay tuned. So a little background on how my edges went in the first place. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you may not know that throughout last year I was pregnant with my second child and my hormones were all over the place and I did mention in a few videos that I felt like my edges were thinning. Um, shortly after giving birth, I relaxed my hair and then I, a few months later, I got a sewing weave with a closure and the closure was on a band. So I had that on for about five to six weeks. When I took the closure down, it was crazy. My hair was gone, my edges were missing, they were completely gone. And so I called up my friend, I was like, listen, Alex, my edges are gone, I don't know what to do. She was like, what do you mean they're gone? I bet you're just exaggerating. I sent her the picture, she was like, oh. So that day, I was just like, okay, what I'm gonna do is just put my hair in the middle part comb everything down sideways and back so that you can't really see the edges and then I'll take it from there. I was researching online, YouTube, I was like how can I get my edges back and the most popular product that I already had and was planning to use anyway was Jamaican black castor oil which I'm sure you've already guessed. I literally started oiling my edges every other day with the Jamaican black castor oil. And around that time I got a, I think I got a U-part wig. With the U-parts I usually use um, bobby pins to secure it. So what I did is I tried to secure the U-part wig just behind my hairline and then cover, bring the hair forward to cover the front. So that's how I had my hair for the following you know, couple of months. That was just to hide my edges while I nursed them back to health. So I just wanted to leave my edges alone completely. I also decided to extend my stretch. When I took the sewing weave down, I was about four months post relaxer and I was considering relaxing, but due to my edges, I thought I'm gonna continue my stretch and not put any kind of chemical on my edges at all as well, just to give it a good rest and not trouble them too much. I feel that the castor oil helped tremendously in getting my edges to grow back. I've done a ton of research on castor oil and it's just so amazing, it's such a good product. I'm gonna do a separate video on its own just with all the benefits of castor oil and how it does promote growth, etc. I was using this on my edges as well as a few other oils and just massaging my scalp like this lightly. I still do it till, you know, today and I would just put it on my fingertips, rub it in and then massage my scalp, my edges like this and then that would be it, I will do it at night time I would use my satin headscarf which is getting a bit raggedy now, I think I want a new one but anyway, <laughs> I'd use this at night and make sure I tied it really loosely as well so at night time I would bring it round and then I would basically, instead of tying it here Instead of tying it here on my hairline, I would kind of tie it on my forehead and then tie it. I don't really want to get too much makeup on it, but I'll tie it here on my forehead quite loosely as well, just so it's not rubbing too much. And then put it down at the back, and that would secure it on my head, but it wouldn't be putting too much pressure on my hairline as well. So if you are having trouble with your edges, I would suggest. I would suggest you doing that, that's a good tip. Another thing I started doing is paying extra attention on wash days, just apply extra deep conditioner to my edges to make sure they're thoroughly you know, soaked in the conditioner. And then when I'm covering it with a saran wrap, again, I'll make sure it doesn't end here, it ends a lot lower down. So there's no pressure on my edges at all. And I've got this spray bottle. This is just a little leave-in mixture that I did make. And what I'll do is at night time, after moisturizing and sealing, I'll spray a bit of the mixture on my hands, dab it onto my edges as well just to make sure that they're extra moisturised and then I'll put on my headscarf. So just to recap, I used Jamaican black castor oil about three times a week or in the beginning it was every other day but then I've cut down now to about three times a week. I used extra moisture on my edges as well and with my satin headscarf I would tie it on my forehead instead of on the hairline edges just to make sure there's no friction and I left them completely alone. I stretched my relaxer to six months, as you know, and I made sure any styling that I did didn't involve me brushing 
you know my hairline so i hope you guys found this useful if you are struggling with your edges due to postpartum shedding like i did or any other reason try these tips out and see if they work for you let me know how they go if you successfully managed to grow back your edges and you use you know another kind of method let me know in the comment section below what you did it may help someone else as well as i said before my edges aren't perfect but they are a lot better than they were before they were just awful honestly <laughs> so if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and stay blessed